Okay, I'm Earl Stroyford, and I'm in my 29th year in education at Richland High School. I think I knew I wanted to either be in education or coaching probably by the time I was a sophomore in high school. I mean, I just, in the family that I grew up in, I grew up with a family of all mechanics, and there was nothing left to fix in our house, so I knew I wasn't going to turn any wrenches. And, you know, I came from a background, too, where we didn't have a lot of money, so um, I just wanted a job that I knew would be secure, and that kind of led me toward education. I figured there's always going to be schools and teachers and some that I could do, and then, um, as I uh, developed as a player and, and got to play baseball and in high school and basketball and high school and football and those things, I just um, had an affinity for you know being around the game and whatever the game was, I just loved being around it. So um, if I could make a living doing something like that, I thought that'd be great. I think you know Jim Thacker's probably the the best fundamentals coach and best strategy guy I've ever been around, um, bar none. I mean he's phenomenal. Probably should have been a college coach. Would have been a great college coach, but. Um, I think growing up in his system, um, I learned a lot about just, you know, the team matters before the individual, for one, and also that um, you can beat anybody if you play better. You know, I just had a great experience playing for him. We started for two years, and um, that year, you know, we came out, we won seven straight games, and then we lost three in a row in league to Wenatchee, Davis, um, and Pasco, and we went on and run, won 16 games in a row and lost in the uh, in double overtime in the state finals. So um, that year was um, phenomenal. It was you know, a great community year. We had gyms were packed everywhere we went. And you know, the league was a tough league. And we ended up uh, you know, 12 and three in league, I think, or 11 and three, whatever it was, um, tied for first with Pasco. Um, and ended up coming out and running through the regional and beating Shadle and then had a great tournament run. I played all three sports in high school and I played uh, Played baseball at Eastern, um, kind of joke, I practiced more than I played, I think, but uh, um, had a great, great experience there. Learned a lot about coaching and learned a lot about what it means to not be a starter and, you know, just be one of the guys. And I think that gave me a heads up on uh, the way coaching was going to be. You know, I coached 11 years in Walla Walla and I was a varsity assistant in baseball. We won a title and we'd won a title in basketball that year in 99. And I'd coached every level of basketball from freshman B to being an associate head coach. And I knew that one of two things was gonna happen. Either I was gonna go coach the freshman team um, at Walla Walla, or I was gonna be a head coach somewhere else. And I think the, the biggest thing there for me was that I just wanted autonomy. I wanted to do what I did. I think Jim did a great job in Walla Walla, but you know, you have that drive to be a head coach. You have your own ideas. You want to find out if you really know what you're doing. And so when I saw the Richland job open, I always told my wife that there's only two jobs in the Big Nine that I'd ever take, and that's Walla Walla and Richland. And that's mainly because the tradition that's, you know, at both schools and the, and the history behind each one of those. I was just at a point where I'd done everything I could do in Walla Walla, um, and we'd been, you know, to the pinnacle in two different sports, and just felt like it was time for me to find out if I could do it on my own. And, you know, a lot of people look at, at Richland and Walla Walla and think they're so different, but really, um, deep down, they're very, very similar. Same, same kind of um, student base, you know, you know, the expectation that you were going to be in the playoffs every year and that you're going to win every year, those were really the same. So the transition wasn't so hard for me, um, except probably that I left a lot of good people in Walla Walla that I built relationships with. and. Um, in Richland, one of the things here, it's very difficult if you're not from Richland, and Walla Walla is the same way. If you're not from that town, it takes a long time to break into, uh, into that clique or that group. But other than that, it, the transition wasn't hard because I, we I knew what we were going to do here was going to be good. And, you know, lucky that the uh, guys were patient those first couple of years with us. Coaching just comes down to relationships, you know. Um, there's people all throughout my career in Walla Walla and here that um, those individual guys have gone on and done great things. And, you know, some guys that maybe haven't been ultra successful in their, in their chosen field, whatever it is, but you have that connection with those guys and, you know, you get those cards and letters when their kids are born and all those things. I mean, that's, those are the things you take away. I think the relationships far outweigh the, the wins and losses. And, you know, there's, there's special guys on every team that, you know, you remember. So, been blessed with that.